Hello, FlossTube! Welcome to episode 28. Um, I can see my camera is a little bit off or something. Yeah. It's been two weeks since the last time. Today is the 7th of November uh, of 2020. Uh, I was supposed to film last weekend when it was Halloween, but I didn't. So, never mind. Life is life. Um, thank you everyone for all the great comments I got on my last video. I just read them through and I think most of you noticed that I've liked and, and given them a heart and I've tried to uh, reply to most of them. So... A lot of great comments and they are very appreciated never forget that I love them I might not read all of them at once uh, but I do read each and every one so um, what shall we start with uh, I will not do the heaven and earth going through them I, oh yeah but I will do that right away now uh, Randall Spangler has released uh, a couple of new designs and oh, one of them is just so cute. I love it. Uh, it's a bunch of animals standing together with the dragons and reading uh, storybooks and they're in the woods and it's so so nice. It would be definitely a design I would like let's kit it up and start but <laughs> there is a lot of green in it which is nice but then i'm starting you know thinking well you know the first page would be just green leaves and i will put a picture up here to to show you what i'm talking about uh so it's a very nice design i will probably buy the pattern uh, when there's like a 50 uh, percent sale uh, but it's so cute mm, and the pajamas uh, the jamas I think it's called jams pajamas uh, time or something it's so cute I could think of a, a quick stitch or something with that one so yeah I love his uh, art and his art I have two of them just behind me I have the train of dreams out in the uh, hallway and they're a great joy to stitch so um, whips maybe let's go to whips uh, since the last time uh, we have gone from October to November so I was trying um, as I said I'm gonna try to stick with two heaven and earths so I started the Deliciosa by Helen Beland and uh, I finished one page just before the switch from October to November and she stitched on 25 count uh, a beige uh, fabric and I'm gritting it out with my, not my, with fish line. And I'm stitching it with DMC one over one. And I'm gonna try to show you because I've just, that's why I brought out my sewing machine again. Sewing machine. Um, because the fabric was too big for my largest scroll frame. And I know it's gonna fit there, so I had to cut the fabric. I hope I didn't cut too much. I searched the edge and <clears throat> okay, I have I have a cup of coffee like right there. I don't wanna hit it. So how am I gonna do this? Like this? Ah yes. This is the first page. Oh my god. I mean, seriously, 
it looks so much better on the viewfinder than in real life. Beautiful. I'm not a background stitcher, but I'm really enjoying this. The colors are a little bit too grayish for my taste, but I'm enjoying it. And it was a bit difficult to put it away, but I have another, I have another design, which I've gone, came quite a bit on, you know, I have quite some, uh, pro progress on and I want to get more so instead of you know just starting 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 which I don't mind at all and I know it's all about the process stitching enjoying it right now I feel I want to focus a little bit on on a few worse uh, designs to get a little bit more process I'm bringing out the pattern keeper just to show you come on it doesn't want to do what I want to do. Yeah. I had prepared everything. So let's see. So I'm not widening it out or maybe I could, can I turn the, the lights down? Maybe will that be better? I don't know. So this is what I finished on Deliciosa. This is how it looks on Pattern Keeper. So I made a total of... Okay, which way are you heading? Okay, I made a total of 10,337 stitches, which is about 2.98%. So we have some way to go. <laughs> But it's very nice and the design is so beautiful. I just can't wait to get to the um, the border and the the girl and oh yeah I'm really oh I'm looking forward to that and as you could see on the design I have actually already gotten to the fountain so that's a bit more confetti than the background so I get a variety. So I stitched on this all October and my plan is that I'm going to get back to it in December. But we know that I usually don't stick to my plans, so we'll see. All right. And I just want to give a shout out to Bags Plus, who makes these awesome floss buddies. And this is all the floss that I use for uh, Deliciosa. There is 90 pockets. Uh, and uh, I got to say, just pick any Halloween fabric for me. And she sewed this. And I have two of these for two different projects. Very nice. You can find her on Etsy. So, since I already started on my Heaven and Earth, I will just go with the, the good stuff right away. So, since the 1st of November, I have stitched on one of the heaven and earth I have, where I have uh, gotten a lot of progress. And it's the Softest Steel by Julie Bell Vallejo. And um, these are homemade scroll frame protectors for the edges. Um, and my plan is that I'm going to stitch on this one for all of November and see if I can actually get a little bit of more process, but it's like background and more background and more background. So it's fast stitching, but I usually tie, I usually get tired of everything, you know, but I need a variety. Come on. I could have prepared this better, but I realize when I put things 
you know, I said everything I'm going to show. And then I realized, but maybe you want to see the whole picture, you know, maybe not just the process, you know, the progress. So here she is. And it's like almost a naked woman. So if you don't like that, just skip ahead. Oh, no, this is not. Can you see her there? Oh my God, look at that. Beautiful and all the thread stuffs. Isn't she amazing? I should, maybe I should move my coffee. Just take a sip. Maybe like this. Yes. There is nothing better than to stitch skin. I love it. So I've been working, whoops. I've been working like on this, this part. So not so much. And it's all, you know, different pinks. It's stitched on 27 count. Uh, Linda, I think it's called. Yeah, even weave. I will just. Oh shit! Sorry. What happened? Something. Woo! Okay. My needle minder went missing. All right. It's one of those days, you know. And uh, I, I really like 27 count. It's not as tight as 28, of course. And it still gives a lot better coverage than 25 count. Um, so yeah, I like it. But as for now, I do prefer 25 better, but I do recommend 27 count. So quite nice. And I don't know if it matters that it's actually an uneven number. I haven't thought about that actually. Anywho, so that's her. And on um, on Pattern Keeper, Can I do it like this? Yeah. On Pattern Keeper, this is how much I've done. So when you look at it like this, you feel like that's not a lot, but still it is, it's quite a lot. I think it's, it's like uh, one, two, three, four, 10, 14, 18, 19. I'm on my 20th page. So that's quite, you know, for being me, <laughs> that's uh, quite some progress. Um, and it's like, uh, 94,858 stitches and it's almost 26% done. So, uh, and my plan is to, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm going to finish this page. Yeah. I want to finish that page. And I want to stitch the two pages up because then I will hit the top left corner and then I might just start, you know, going left to right. Um, I started in the middle on this one uh, because I wanted to try to stitch like the focal piece first and then I dropped my scissors over here and it made a hole in the weave. So I had to fix that. And that's why I just decided to stitch the whole thing. So you can't see that there is a hole now, but it was like a disaster when it happened. <laughs> so, um, so that's that. It's very nice and relaxing stitching. 
<clears throat> and then I've been stitching. Oh, there it was. Hello. <laughs> I found. Woo, I found the magnet. Um, yeah, I've been to my daughter's dance class. And another shout out for Oh Sue Twinkle, who makes these awesome project bags. And she makes um, notions and thread pickers, thread catchers, whatever it's called. I've ordered one of those. And yeah, she's like. She's good at what she's doing. So I've been stitching on Pandemic. Long Dog Pandemic. And this is stitched on... Um, is it 32 count? I think it's 32 count. With sulky threads. And I'm not taking it off uh, from the Q-snap uh, because there's so much fabric. And I've been stitching like this part here, I think. It's new for you. Um, it's very easy and nice stitching. I love the variegated thread. Um, <clears throat> And last time I mentioned that I knew that there was some uh, backstitching and I had missed it on the pattern and I, I didn't understand why because I haven't mis missed it on the first birds I did. So I didn't understand why that happened. But um, who was it? Somebody uh, left a comment I'm sorry, I haven't memorized the name. But she said you could see the backstitching on the old version of the... Um... There's something happening going on with the camera, isn't there? Hmm. Anyway, on the old version of Pattern Keeper, you could see the backstitching. You can't see that anymore, so you have to look at the PDF which is a little bit sad because I kind of missed it. So I have to jump between two different patterns now. Yeah, it's going to work out, but you know, anyway, that's, um, that's that. So I only get stitched like an hour. Uh, so it's like maybe a hundred stitches. Um, or something. Okay. Who says we need to fold it properly? Just as long as it fits in the project bag, I'm happy. Uh, so I didn't, I don't get a lot of, uh, progress when stitching the, the pandemic, but, uh, hey progress and I'm going to show you this on pattern keeper as well where is it there yes so this is the progress on the total so not a lot but still uh, so I've made almost 4% and it's 2,991 stitches. Yes, so that's that. Um, more coffee. I woke up this morning and it was like all gray, you know, kind of dull lighting. And I hadn't woken up when my husband went to work so I was like, hmm, what? Oh, it has to be like seven o'clock in the morning. I reach over and grab my phone and I'm like, 
nine thirty in the what? It's not morning. <laughs> it's not morning. And I was like, how is it possible? Nine freaking thirty in the morning. But I was like awake. I wasn't tired. I felt like, yes, it's time to wake up and no headaches, nothing. I was like, maybe it's sleep I need. Undisturbed sleep for hours. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, let's just get back to my whips. And then we have my beautiful Mirabilia. Yes, here she is. Here, I'm going to show you the back side because I have the pattern in the front and I need to remove that. Uh, she stitched on 32 count, two threads over two. And she's just amazing. Amazing, amazing. I love her so, 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 so much. And at the same time, I'm feeling like I need to finish her soon. I would really like to have a finish before the new year. So I could start a new one. And I have thousands of needle minders. Ugh, needle minders, and I love them all. Here she is. Well, I'm not showing you all of it. I'm not gonna unscroll her. I'm sorry, but I don't know. The last time, I don't know. I think I had finished the white dress. So I worked, I've done her arm and the dress. Haven't I done more since then? I don't know. I don't know. And you, there's some krennic here. So nice. And the arm, the skin, I'm stitching one over one and the other ones is two over two. So, so there is a difference. <sighs> I mean, she is so close of being, well, not finished because there's a lot of beating in her, but you know, I'm getting close to finish her like stitching. So when we're done here and I have uploaded this video, I'm going to stitch the chair chair she's sitting in and then we have an arm and a face and some hair and then we're done so if i don't stitch on my heaven and earth this should be finished soon but i need to stitch on my heaven and earth as well so we'll see but again she's beautiful i love the mirabilias if you haven't noticed. That's all the progress. That's all the whips. So that was actually like four. So the plan is to continue uh, Portrait of Veronica, continue with Soft as Steel and Pandemic when I'm over at my daughter's dance. I'm not sure if I'll wipe out the sampler from hands across the sea maybe maybe not we'll see and i have an order on the shell lane so when that is coming in i hope i'm gonna enjoy that a lot uh, but you know it's not shipped or anything so i'm not expecting it this year actually uh, but I talked with Hawkins Hobbies in uh, England and uh, they are great with putting Mirabilia kits together anyways. Uh, I haven't bought any other kits from them, but they have always been very, very helpful, even with the out of print kits and everything. And I just, it's a, I, I don't know, I guess it's a small business and their service and communication is just amazing and I love supporting those businesses and it's just too bad we don't have that kind here in Sweden but I asked her that maybe you know she would be kind of helpful with putting a shuttle lane together and I don't mind 
paying you know the high price for the kit it is the customs and the taxes and everything that we have to pay from the states and you know the risk of the stuff being shipped you know back that the customs doesn't even you know let it into the country it's just silly anyway and um yeah we are uh, a few people there who has asked the same favor and they just might help out with that and i'm so thrilled so i might have a second shell lane coming yep that's me in a nutshell you know um what else let's go to all we're gonna save the giveaway for the last you know uh let's move the pattern out of the way i can hear my dog outside inside the door you know tripping what you doing in there man let me in why are you closing the door how can you do that to me let's do some haul first of all <laughs> when i got a package in my uh, mailbox and my husband was like oh another order i'm like i haven't ordered anything and i was looking at it and i think it came from germany i was like germany no i didn't order anything from there and he's like well it's your name on it and i don't know why seriously but uh what what are they called the gunold gunold fabric in germany sent me the sulky thread um thread chart just like that i didn't order it And this is so much better than looking online. I can actually see how the colors and the variate, variegated threads look like. And they sent me a coupon as well. I'm thrilled, seriously. So thrilled. I was very happily surprised to get the thread chart so that was a big surprise and then I forgot to show you last time um, when I was at the retreat one of the ladies over there she was stitching this dragon and she was you know she laid it out on the table and there's so much chronic in it and you know I was just eyeing that thing all day long you know and a lot of people uh, looked at it and she showed uh, the book and there is a lot of nice patterns there so when I got home I ordered it right away let me show you there's one which a lot of people like and I like it too. The mother the mother moon. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And there is Krennic, there are the beads, there is everything in there. So this is Joanne Elliot. And there's some Halloween stuff and some nice birds I wanted to show you there are some cats somewhere I know there are some cats there are some cats yeah I like these it's like ornaments very cute love them So, I got this book. Very nice. And I hope to stitch something in it. 
And then I got myself a needle minder from Rachel Ray. When I saw this on Instagram, I was like, I need to get that. It's a red balloon and it says, we all float down here. <laughs> uh, do I like scary movies? I don't usually watch them. I know this is a scary movie. Um, <laughs> the only thing I've dared to watch is the trailer. So I haven't even watched, um, watched them. So <sighs> no, I usually don't like them. I don't like to get scared that much, but, uh, I just, I just thought it was so cool. Yeah. This is a bit blurry. I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, there's too much in the background. But Rachel Ray makes great needle minders. So go check her store out on Etsy. And it's called Rachel Ray Crafts. That's that. And yes, I ordered another Mirabilia kit. Surprise! I think this one, I think this is like the last one for quite a while. Um, as, a, as you all know, I'm switching back to my old job. So I'm not going to have that much uh, money for shopping. And it's like, I have a lot of kits. And I know some of the Mirabilia, uh, I don't have fabric. So it's like, it's, I couldn't order a piece of fabric for $40 or something and that's fine you know and I have so much to do I don't need to buy more so unless there's like a new mirror kit which is so stunning I just I'm just I'm just gonna die if I don't get it then I might go get it but this is the latest purchase and is it is called Lily of the Woods. What about, what's, what's with the words, lilies? I have so much trouble saying that word. You cannot imagine. It's the MD and it seems like I have a problem with the side because I need to kind of do like this. That's not, that's not the case. It's just the lighting in here is not so good. So <laughs> it is MD80, okay. All right, and I have no words. I was like, I have to take a look inside. I just had to take a look inside. So ex I'm just gonna show you. Just excuse me for all the crinkling. Just hold, hold your... All right, just, this is why, you know, I just have to order some stuff. And this is why I think maybe the shadow lane is so like, I just can't help myself. And why this is so much better than heaven and earth is I'm not saying it's better than heaven and earth. I love heaven and earth and yeah. Um, but there are some things that heaven and earth don't have, which Mirabilia and the shadow lane have. And I know that there is other like Mill Hill kits and everything, but okay, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Here we have some DMC threads that are very subtle. There's a little bit pinkish here and there. I mean, who doesn't love a package of threads? getting better okay and some of the kids I just love the fabric and this is one of the kids and we have some yeah I'm not gonna pack it, pack it take it out some very nice it's like an olive uh, linen mm, it's so nice and I cannot wait to start stitching and we have some needles in there very nice. 
Did you hear that sound? Mm -hmm. We're getting there. And then we have some amazing Krennic. Krennic. Which we enjoy so much to stitch with. I cannot wait. Oh, yes. But the glitter... I seriously hate to stitch with Krennic. Well, not hate. I don't like it. I don't love it. Uh, but I do love the effect, so it's worth the trouble. And now to the best part. A cucaracha, a cucaracha. La 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 la. We have... We have so many treasures and beads and I was... I was speechless when I opened the kit. Excuse the crinkle. So, since my camera cannot focus on this thing, it's just gonna be very um, unfocused. And since I don't memorize stuff, I don't know the names of this. So I will just look at the pattern and you see how close it is now? I have no trouble with eye sights. <clears throat> uh, there's like 12, 144. So there's six patch packages of these green treasure leaves. So that means there's 12 of these leaves. Oh my god. I don't even know how to to put them in the design. I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. And then we have I don't want to mess it up too much. And then we have come on. We have 13 packages of this green leaf. So that's 13 leaves. Oh my god. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And it's all just a green blob for you, but... I mean... <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's so silly to that these things bring such joy, but it does. I'm sorry. I mean, it just makes me happy. And then we have all the beads. I mean, seriously, look at this bead pack. Wow. It's, it's so heavy. I mean, you understand why I need to finish Portrait of Ver Veronica so I can start my third mirror this, this year. And which one am I going to start? Oh, these problems, man. I seriously want to stitch the Mermaids of the Deep. I really, really, really want to stitch that one. But this summer I kitted up the Gypsy Queen because I really, really, really wanted to stitch her. But the hand-dyed fabric I've ordered from Crafty Kitten is not coming. I mean, she's having big problems of getting fabric. Uh, and yeah, um, I just hope she'll get enough fabric so she can start making the custom orders and not just the, the fabric of the month club but then we're heading to christmas so if i actually get to finish my mirabilia i think i could finish stitching her within november i don't know if i'm going to be able to finish her before new year but if i do then we're like around christmas 
and it would be so nice to actually stitch the royal uh, holiday queen. queen. Mm. The one who's like holding a candle. She's so beautiful. I bought the pattern, the specialty threads and the beads on the soul stitch retreat. And I have fabric the same as uh, Miss Christmas Eve. So they would be look, they would look very nice together. And then I would just have to order the DMC thread, which is like no biggie. Oh, <laughs> I want to finish. So I know I was talking about like a giveaway on an ornament for Halloween, but like Halloween is over now. So it feels like kind of boring. I mean, I don't know. I will not do that now, but we will go to the giveaway because this is the last thing. Do I need to talk about something else? Yeah, I don't know what's happening in the States. Oh my God, the voting, the election, <sighs> like the whole world is like sitting and watching and watching TV from morning to evening. Like what's happening? What's going on? What, any news? What, ugh. horrible. And I have been running a little bit, um, just, I was hoping for more. Um, it's very difficult to get over, you know, that barrier. I went to the gym with my husband because I would never set my foot in there uh, alone the way I'm feeling now. And it was nice to be there with him. Uh, it was nice to meet the, the coaches, which has been helping me before. And I was like, yeah, maybe, you know, mm, it would be nice to kind of, you know, lift something heavy. And, and like, I think it was uh, like the day after all the restrictions just hit hard in our parts of Sweden. And I'm like, well, you know, I have to take my responsibility. So we're, st I'm not st staying home, home. I have to go to work, but, uh, you know, I'm following all the restrictions possible. And that's one is not going to the gym. So I'm not going there. So we'll see when that's going to happen. But who cares? I have stitching. I have the woods. Uh, I like walking or running in the woods. Anyway, uh, so let's go to the giveaway. So the giveaway was to celebrate the 800 subscribers and mwah, lots of love to everyone who wants to subscribe and giving me the support. Um, I enjoyed making the videos. I know there's like going a little time in between everything and I want to do more, but my energy is so, so low. So I'm trying not to have this as like a pressure i like to show my progress i like to interact with you guys i love the comments and everything anyway so i just want to to you know to give back some love and i wish i could give all of you a pattern each i just can't afford that but i'm giving away one and we're going to go to the uh the comment picker and see who is the happy winner or lucky or whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's just stop talking. No. Oh. Okay. So, um, let's see. I think I've prepared. Oh my God, that's me. Uh, prepared. So yeah, I want to just um, Instagram. Um, Hey, Nancy stitching. Nanny stitching. Oh, she's always putting out some such nice flower, uh, flower pictures. Uh, my name is on Instagram is uh, Ronya76. Um, and I've, I've added uh, the name also Linda's 144 Hobbies. So you know that it, it's me when you find me. I know Ronya76 is kind of strange when my name is Linda, but there's a story to that as well. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you will see my stitching, 
but also a lot of my private life, my dogs and my daughter and whatever I'm doing, running or eating or yeah, you know, uh, and I can follow you guys as well and see your progresses, which I'm really much enjoying. So uh, go over to Instagram and follow me. Let's get back to the giveaway. Yes, that's the common picker. Uh, I need to go to the floss tip video. Uh, here and copy the video. We're adding in the video and I want to filter the duplicate users and the comment is hate. And so let's see. Yeah, the amount of unique comments are 51. So that's cool. I, I don't think I've ever had that many before. So that's really awesome. So let's start and see who is the lucky winner. Sam KH1980. Let's see. I have three hate whips on rotation. Randall Spangler's Afternoon Tea, Amy Stewart's Once Upon a Fairy Tale, and Anya Kai's Evil Queen. And I just love that some days I want to work on all of them and can't make a decision on it. Uh, oh, the dilemma of having three projects to love so much. XX hate. Yeah, I totally totally get that so i'm gonna take a look and see if she is a subscriber i'll get right back to you guys so sam kh 1980 congratulations you have won yourself another pattern from heaven earth designs I did forget to say in my last video that you guys need to fill out the form, uh, but you are a subscriber. So um, I will uh, add a comment to your comment and I will ask you to email me on uh, to my g Gmail address. You can find it down below in the description box, but it is Linda uh, dot MB dot showberg uh, at gmail.com so that's it guys i'm just gonna say the usual thing you know let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching all right <laughs> so guys thank you again uh for another floss tube for hanging in there with me and sharing your support it's very, very much appreci appreciated. Um, stay safe, wash your hands, keep your distance, wear the mask if you have to. Let's fight this thing together. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye.